Oh, dude. That was a giant, dude. Oh, my God. That was a giant. That was a freaking monster. That was a giant. That's like the third cast. <laughs> oh. Holy cow. Maybe you come back and hit yours. All I saw was the flash down there. That was, that was a big flash. Holy cow, dude. That might have been a 50. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, all right folks, so I haven't even done an intro yet, but um, the old 12 inch Navin just brought up an absolute giant on a lake that can grow them. I mean, uh, you probably got a better look than I did. It was a big fish. Holy cats. I was looking off this way and you guys are just going, oh dude. I mean, it just came up It came up and rolled over the bait. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Angling Anarchy. I'm Brian. This is Nathan. And this is my other friend, Nathan. <laughs> we are out muskie fishing in northern Wisconsin. This is day three of a long weekend. Um, first day, I and mean, we've seen fish all weekend. Yesterday was a really good day. Two fish in the boat out of a p potential, what, 12 that were hooked up, probably. Um, so. Our percentage that way wasn't great, but it was a fun day. Um, let's get this out of the way. My face is not working, as you can probably tell. The left side has a little bit of nerve damage going on, but that should rectify itself, I hope. With that, we are going to commence musky fishing. Um, we've already seen, probably on the first or second cast, a big fish came up, and this is a big fish lake. This is one of those cool, small northern Wisconsin lakes that can hold a really big fish, and I think we've seen it already. And with that, we've got 60 degree, 62 degree water temps. This is the, like the best time to get the fish when they're up in the shallow weeds. I think that's where they've all been all weekend. So that's what we're doing. We're rocking an Esox Assault Double Eight, a Medusa, and the new 12 inch Navin from Chaos Tackle. Let's stick a big one. So they come out a little ways off of this point, a little ways off of this point. Fish! Uh, it's nothing big. It's nothing big. It's, it's actually quite little. <laughs> come on, Pike. Wow. That scared the poop out of me. Well, we went from probably the biggest fish we've seen all weekend coming up on this bait to, uh, this stupid little guy hitting it. That's kind of dumb. All right, and you managed to get all three sets. <laughs> of course you did. All right, grab on tight here. Don't. <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> Okay, all right, there's one. There's two. Oh, sure, that one's really stuck. Oh, I, okay. Well, there we go, folks. A uh, 20 inch pike on a 12 inch bait. Not exactly what we're looking for, but on to bigger and better things. I've never seen anything along this side of the island either. No? I mean, I look deep water coming right to the shoreline. Right. Where are we? 23. Oh yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right there, I know. That was a big fish. Wow. Was he just sliding past and you couldn't figure out him? Yeah, and then and then he pulled and pulled back, and so I tried to just drop it down on him. I thought you were pulling back. I know. You were dropping it down. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. Yeah. yeah. It was another mid forties. Was yeah. it? Whew, all right, well, another big follow on a Medusa. What is that, today's angler mid? Yep. <laughs> I looked down and I, I mean, I got to look at that one. I had a full body right here. 
Yeah. I mean, what do you think? 45, 46 ish. Yeah. So that's what I thought. That one was bigger. Really? By a lot. Wow. So yeah, we've had. He came past your bait. I know. And you pulled up, and he just kind of sunk down. Yeah, right. And then I so I tried to drop it back, and it didn't come hard. Yeah. And I was hoping you hit him right on the back when you dropped it. Back. I was watching it drop. I was like, oh. <gasps> Fish. Ready? Hold on, hold on. I know. Let me swing around. Right here. Good fish. It just stopped me, man. Yep. It just, and all I saw was a giant head. All right, let's see if we can get her. Gotta get her head back in. Hang on, girl, hang on, girl. One, one hook, one hook, one hook. I'm freaking out, man. <laughs> it's a good fish. If my face wasn't already screwed up, this would have done it. Holy cow. Oh, I'm freaking out. Okay. Wow, I'll, I'll take it up here. I'll measure across the front. Put the, uh, the head of it up, up here. My goodness, I don't even know what to say. This is a big fish. What do you, what guesses? 46, 40, I'm guessing 46 too. 46, 47. Yeah. yeah. But a big 46. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nope, nope, come on girl. Nope, 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 nope. Look at this fish. Oh, oh my gosh, that is a nice northern Wisconsin fish. Can you get a snap, a couple picks, Nate? How do you take it with this one? Just hit the white button. That's a stop. Oh, well, start it again. We'll get a, we'll get a still. Yeah. Is it going? Okay. We'll get a measure. We'll get one other pick. Nope, 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 come on. That's a big, okay. wide fish. Ooh, Look at that, 48. 48. 48. 48. Wow. Yes. <laughs> a northern Wisconsin 48. This is a giant, folks. And I'd smile, but it looks like this. <laughs> so, oh, holy cow, let's get this fish back in. Put her in back here. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, I got the tail to go just over the 48, so this is, wow. That's my biggest inland Wisconsin muskie right there on that 12 inch Navin. Holy cow, let's keep going, man. Maybe there's a window.
These gotta be from the, those are fish's teeth right there. Yeah. God, that's amazing they can do that. <laughs> yep, shellac hardwood. Did you see that, Nate? Those two holes on there? That's, oh, yeah. that's teeth marks. That's not from the hooks. Because those weren't there before that happened. <laughs> Fish. It's a small fish, but it's fish. Ready? She's gonna come. Come here, buddy. Just a little guy. Come on. I told you right here in front of this boat. Yeah, dude. All right, well. Okay. All right, well, we have a muskie on the other side of the spectrum, but it's still a muskie, so we'll take it. I don't even know if this guy's going to stretch 30, but he was more than willing to hit a 12 inch bait. All right, kiddo, let's get, get you out of here. We'll just use the little guy. Come here. Come on. There's a cute little bugger. Hopefully he'll turn into one of those 48s like we got earlier. Nice little Wisconsin greenie. What are you? He is 32, so we got a 48 and a 32. Let's shoot for the higher side, but I will take a couple more of these. That's fine. All right, buddy, go get bigger. Cool, all right, two fish in the boat. I mean, this is a low density lake, so to get two fish is, this is fantastic. Anything here from here on out's gravy. All right, everybody, we have finished our morning fish. We went in, cleaned up the cabin, got ready to go. We did, however, lose one Nathan. We still have one left. Uh, we are back out on the lake that we got. My biggest inland Wisconsin fish, just a hair over 48. Um, that was so cool. I, I mean, if nothing else happens for the rest of the day, I'm good with that. Uh, but we've seen two other fish, one that was slightly smaller and by a slightly smaller, I mean it was a 46, so still a good fish, and one that was probably bigger than that 48, so that is the one we're looking for. Unfortunately, we lost our cloud cover a little bit. We've got some holes in the sky where the sun's popping through, which doesn't help us on this lake, but hopefully with the later in the evening, uh, lower sun angle, it shouldn't hurt us too much. So that's the plan. We are going to spend our last couple hours on this lake hunting for a, another northern Wisconsin giant. Wish us luck, hopefully we can get one. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's still with it? I don't see her anymore. And she was tough to see. How big a fish do you think? Mid dupper for Mid dupper, really? <laughs> it might have been that one that we had earlier. It was that big. Wow, dude. It, it could have been that same fish from this morning. Yeah. Not quite as big as I thought, because it, it was light. Yeah. But it was still a. It's a big fish. It was 47, 48, 46. Man, diving rises are king right now. Got a little Medusa hanging off the back, just kind of towing her around, see if we can get a get a fish to go. That'll get the old heart pumping, huh? Mm -hmm. okay. All right, she came in decently hot-ish. Yeah, yeah she was, all okay. All right, 
hey man we, we gotta get another big one here let's do it all right well i have not thrown much for diving rises in the last probably five or six years with this is a really cool bait and i've been using oh this is a shock and awe i thought i was using a swat telescopic shock and awe tranks 500 is perfect for this big old 12 inch diving rise i just swore i had a so is this a no that's a no i've just i have a full oh 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 look at that look at that Are you kidding me? He's still down there. Here I am trying to figure out what rods I've got in the boat. He's right there. I think he finally took off that time. Well, that was dumb. He's just a little guy. How big do you think? Float him in threes. Oh, he's back, yeah. he's back. I don't even know what to do with him. Seems to be coming whenever your dead sticking. Yeah. Just doing the old yeah. musky mouth. Oh. Way to pay attention. I wonder if he followed your bait in or did he just show up? I don't know. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> that was dumb. All right, well, I guess that's... I literally, I was going, oh, I've got another shock and all back here. Oh, there's a muskie with its nose on my bait. Awesome. Huh. Well, whatever. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> All right, everybody. Boat is packed up. Um, I am just about to start driving back home to southern Wisconsin. But what a great weekend with some really good old friends of mine. Um, gosh, we got that 48 was obviously the highlight uh, that we got today. But boated four fish. Um, gosh, we lost between the two boats. Probably lost a dozen fish or ten fish. So um, just just a cool, fun New northern Wisconsin weekend. Um, yeah, yeah nothing more to say about that. It was perfect conditions. We had nice overcast. The water temp was perfect. Everything just fell into line, which doesn't always happen in musky fishing. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, that's it. I'm going to start driving, guys. I will leave a few videos for you to watch right over here. You can subscribe over here. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you later. Bye.